So as you know, IS-14 is out and I've done plenty of videos in this channel about it. And today we're going to be discussing how to get widgets from the App Store and install it onto your phone and customize the widget section. You can customize the background of it. You can customize, like this is the calendar widget, a Tuesday, today, the date, customize the color of it, the text font. Uh, so as you can see here, you can customize the weather by, you know, this here as well, the battery. Uh, but you can customize your home screen the way you want for getting photos widget and actually going in depth and actually selecting the photos that you want to show here. Uh, again, like adding custom text and again, the same thing, uh, having it in different sizes as well. And uh, this is pretty cool. And if you want to see this, that video is coming up. All right, so what we'll do is go into the app store. And then in the app store, the first app that I'll download, uh, so it's called Color Widget. Okay, the second one is Widget Smith. And then, then the next one that we'll download is Photo Box. Couple of the apps that do the same thing. So most of these apps are actually doing the same thing. But uh, we'll download Photo Photo Widgets. We'll sort of review it and see how good it is. And then we'll prefer whichever ones. And at the end of the video, I'll actually tell you uh, which one's actually good. Because I know Photo Smith um, allows photos as well. And I just had a quick play with it and uh, it wasn't actually there. So uh, this one's called Photo Widget Simple. So we just download it. The next one we're downloading is because it's called Hey Weather. So the next one we're going to download is Motivation Widgets. Countdown app is pretty cool as well. Uh, but quickly, let me see if they're all downloaded. So if you're all your new apps, of course, you've got to go to App Library and uh, you will see these are some of the apps that I'm going to go through and uh, uh, Widget Smith is pretty cool. We'll go through that a bit. I've only opened up Widget Smith and played around with it, but I haven't opened any of this yet. So we're just going to go into it and see how easy and simple it is uh, to customize and use these widgets. And uh, I'll just show you guys and walk you uh, through these cool apps. Uh, so let's go do that. The first app that we're going to go into uh, is Widget Smith. And uh, this app is pretty easy and very cool. I just uh, had a like I just had a play around with it and stuff. So what we'll do now is I'll just add. So it offers you a small widget, medium and large, obviously, because that's what the widgets come in. So they come in three different sizes that you can have on your home screen. So we'll just add a small one and you can actually tap on it and you can go tap again and you can hear you can actually customize and however you want the time to be so you can have it uh, normal like that you can have the location you can just have analog or you're just going to have uh, just words if you know it's called fuzzy time uh, but you can have that as well you can have the date uh, this is how you can have it uh, you can also add custom like little things here as you can see add photos and stuff we'll leave that as photos uh, or three uh, we'll save it and uh, if you want to rename it you can too just tap here and I'll show you later what this means so it's very easy to use so the small ones photos and then you can add All right, so then they have medium so you just tap and then tap on the actual widget that you just added and tap again and then you can go here and scroll down uh, obviously Tuesday here and of course you can add photos the same you can add text uh, you can go upcoming events, Outlook, whatever you need to do. But they do offer weather as well. And weather, they do come in different colors and all that. It's pretty cool, uh, but it costs you money. So, But I'll show you another way to get the weather. Um, it's not that hard. So we'll do that in a second. But uh, also you can choose font, uh, you know, Tuesday, however you want your home screen to look. Let's just add that just for the sake of the font. It's pretty cool. And then the color, of course, you can, well, let's just go yellow because it will just be popping. And then the background, we can have it uh, however you like as well. So let's just have it. See, there's a lot of options. So you can actually go through and customize it however you like. And then you're done. All right, so then they have the large one. So with the large one, is exactly the same. You tap, tap again, and you got your photos. So with the large one, there's not a lot of options. Actually, you got weather as well, but of course, you have to pay for weather. And I think it's 350 a month. Uh, I think this is Australian or $33 a year. So it's up to you if you really need it, but I don't need it. Uh, there's other ways to do it. So uh, you can add reminders, of course. But for this one, we'll actually do a photo. So we just leave it as photo album and we go back and uh, leave it as it is. So large, uh, let's just leave it large three and we'll save it. So this app, so the way you delete it is very easy. So you just swipe, you just swipe that way and then delete. But I found a little glitch in this one. So if you were to go slide all the way and then it pops up like this and now you can't save, you want to cancel, you can't get out. So now we have customized our 
you know the way we want to customize you can add text as well i'll show you how that's done as well all right so to add this all you do is you tap and hold on your home screen anywhere and then you just on the on the top left uh you just press the plus icon scroll all the way down to the bottom it's called widget smith and then you will add yourself a small one uh which uh, i don't want to add it there but yeah okay i'll add it here small one so you just add a medium and i'll just add a large one so this is how it works so so the way this works is very easy so let's say we have tuesday so if you want to edit and you want to display something else let's say on tuesday uh on this date here so all you do is tap and hit edit widget and then from here you can pick so it says medium calendar you just go place two and then now that should change to whatever number two was or there's nothing so we'll just go back to number one let's see what was in number one so if that's how number one looks like, so it depends on how you like it and you can actually customize it as well. So in the photos app, uh, edit widget. And if there's more widgets, you can select, but there's none. So what we'll do now is leave it as it is. And it just keeps on displaying your photos from wherever you have. Like this is just following, like I have, you can literally create a folder. Uh, so let's just go into the photos, add a, like a new album. Uh, we're just going to call it holiday and then uh, we'll just go through photos and find holiday photos. All right, so I've selected my photos and added holiday. So what you want to do is to, in order to display this, the whatever photo you need to display here. So you can go here and actually just change uh, a specific folder, uh, which it doesn't show. So that's a problem. But you just go back into the actual, you know, widget and then tap here and uh, select here it says favorites but we want a specific folder so you scroll down your folders and i found holiday and you want to go back and save and go back to the home screen and hopefully holiday comes in so holiday is here now all right so that's how you display whatever photo you want to display there and the time as well so even the same thing with this one you can display photos wherever you need to do but make sure you you can create different ones and you can just change it however you like so number two what was number two uh please subscribe and like that's of course if you can do it now would be good so this is widget smith uh what we'll do is leave it as it is and uh we'll just mix it with other widgets and see what we can get so the next widget we're going to go into is called countdown timer all right so countdown timer says i'm just literally just opening this one so and then we're just going to go add and then it says pick up name let's just say um uh, let's just say birthday uh let's just say birthday okay and then i'll just add uh, 2021 and uh, all allow and uh that's my birthday i'll just add it and emoji uh, so you can just add an emoji. So why isn't it letting me? Okay, I'll just add emoji there. Uh, there you go. All day, repeat yearly. You can do that when the counter finishes, a day before. This is too long, yeah, but you can definitely customize the color however you want. Pretty cool. And then it says pick a format. So a year, blah, 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 however you like want to format it. So do you want to display like that? like this, like that, like that. So you can just literally pick your favorite. So if you want this option, so whatever you want to display, you have to upgrade. Of course, I can see the message there. Uh, I'll just call, uh, so with the new, what the, this is pretty annoying. It doesn't let you use your own, like, you know how you can use, um, no, that's not good. You can, if it doesn't allow you to use the, the actual keyboard yeah but anyway so that's literally that's all there is so you can add as many as you want and then uh, to add this to your home screen you do the same thing and then they only offer the smaller ones they don't offer the big one or they don't offer the medium or large so we'll just get the small one and it just says new video uh, I upgrade to unlock this widget okay so in order to display your uh, date here you need to upgrade as you, do, as you can see and uh these are the guys who upgraded and they don't even allow you to have one widget so which which sucks so i think it would have been best for these guys to let us use one widget and then if you want to add the second one they should have asked to pay but that's that if you needed to go and get it uh you can just get it for four for 450 uh from these guys and uh to be honest i don't need it at the moment so but next one we'll just go into the color widgets so we're going to color widgets. This is the first time I'm opening it as well. So this looks like uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the, it's really cool. It's very colorful, actually. 
uh, as we can see that it literally offers medium uh, they offer the medium format and uh, let's see how many of them are free and how many of them are paid okay so let's just uh, jump into this one all widgets active widgets so let's just jump into this one uh, let's see what it says so then you can edit widgets set widgets so edit widgets so they do offer uh, small medium and large uh, looks like you can have different fonts uh, let's just go background uh, let's just add a random photo let's just add that photo well, actually no let's yeah let's just add that photo and uh, it's pretty cool all right so set widget uh, follow instructions in the link question mark so we'll go here what does it say it says step one to add the widgets to your home screen enter jiggle mode blah 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 of course the same deal as before but yeah, it shows up here or you could just scroll down to the name of it it's called color widget and they offer three sizes of course and we'll just tap into this one and then add widgets uh, waiting uh, so it's uh, taking a little bit to display I don't know why it's not displaying but uh, why isn't it why isn't it displaying that's weird but I think these guys only allow you to have it on the active or widgets so let's try to add this one. Oh, these guys are actually letting you use one widget and then if you want to add more then of course you got to pay for it yeah these guys uh, are thinking uh, display time da 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 there's no options here so what we'll do is we'll just delete it and we'll install it again. Um, set instructions, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that one worked. So we'll add, and let's just add a big one. Let's see what happens if they allow us to add a big one. Okay, so it looks like they do allow you to use multiple. That's, so that tells you the battery there. Uh, that's the time and the date. Uh, it's pretty cool. Color widgets, it's pretty cool, but uh, they only allow you to use one i think i'm getting away i'm, I'm actually adding two uh the next one we're going to go into is called hey weather uh so welcome to uh hey weather app uh blah 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 handy app stylish widget okay skip 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 uh allow permission choose okay okay you know where set manually okay let's just allow permissions uh let's just say so you guys know where i'm from huh <laughs> all right so uh, you can allow your current location or you can just set manual but it uh, looks like it's updating so uh, this is this is just my current situation where i live at the moment uh, which is pretty cool uh, surface paradise you know not bad and then we go into the widgets app so we got a uh, small medium large they offer that so let's click on the large one because the large one is everyone wants you to pay for the large one so i want to see if these guys are actually letting you have it or the, you can actually really customize it it's pretty cool so there's different so i think i'm pretty happy with the first one i'll just click it and done um settings uh hey weather 1.1 units uh so you can change it so you want it to be in fahrenheit or you want to be celsius so we are celsius here and if what how often do you want me to update it five minutes is pretty good oh if you want five minutes you have to upgrade 15 minutes you have to upgrade do you need the weather that, that often not really and then uh, we'll just go and add this so this is the weather one so we'll just uh, add it in this section this one's called hey weather uh, we're just gonna add the large one and boom cloudy it tells you tuesday wednesday thursday friday and uh, it looks pretty cool. I bet it says Hey Weather there, and it says their names, of course. So Hey Weather is pretty cool. I do like that. So if you like Color Smith, and it doesn't allow you to have weather, you can have customized weather here as well. So which is pretty cool. And the next app that we're gonna go jump in and customize our home screen with is called Motivation Quotes. In Motivation Quotes, we are uh, well, 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 let's go because I'm opening. I'm literally opening it for the first time. So. I am lately I'm lacking a bit of motivation so we'll just go inspiration and continue and uh, let's see what else do they want it says how many uh, times 10 times I start at 9 a.m. and at 10 p oh so it says set daily motivation reminders uh, 10 okay let's leave it at 10 let's see what happens let's see what it does I don't know or maybe it sends you a notification a three-day trial i'm gonna say no i don't want to do that swipe up to quotes okay so these are the rent this is just quotes that come up um but yeah this is the app now so i didn't sign up uh, but you can sign up if you're really into it uh but yeah there you go so they got different themes and uh, this one looks pretty cool but if you unlock the theme you have to go premium or watch an ad so let's just see let's just see one that i really really like and then uh, what we'll do is unlock it. 
by watching ads. All right, so this one looks pretty cool. So we'll just. Okay, so I watched some ads and it let me, you know, have that sort of uh, theme. And then, uh, of course, go premium every time, whatever you want to do. Okay, no worries. I don't wonder. Uh, general, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. All right, so the app, there's nothing in the app, to be honest. Let's just get a medium. And um, yeah, boom, that goes right there. So you can tap on it and uh, you can go to... You can go here and you can go to the themes and you can watch one ad and it'll actually let you have which however you want those the text thing so motivation if you're into that then uh you there you go that app might help you out so all right so the next app we're going to go into is photo widgets i'm opening it for the first time so so first register photos blah 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 okay no worries so they're giving you a little bit of instructions uh, which we just went through so it allows you up to 30 photos i assume so we're just going to go into my favorites because my favorites always have you know so there's my first photo second photo added uh, let's just add another photo we'll just go to my favorites uh, pick around available that there was an error blah 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 okay no worries thank you for that so these apps are actually being rolled out at the first time so there's actually issues with them so looks like I am not going to be so lucky with that one so what I'll do now is actually go through all right so we'll just go here and we go on to one of the albums best sunset ever we'll just add this one and then, so you can up to, uh, add up to 30, but I want to know what happens if you max it out. Let's add that one. Photo refresh interval, interval neighbor. Let's just go, every five minutes we want a new photo to display. Now, since we got my, our photos, we'll just go out of it. And uh, this photos, which is very easy because the Apple one is literally just like this. Photos and it just comes up whenever it feels like. But here you have a bit of, uh, a bit of control over when the photos actually appear and how they appear so we can just tap here and photos widget so you can scroll down and uh, you can find it so there's the photos widget um, that's all you can tap on at any time and add a different one or go to settings and change the interval uh, however whenever you want it to change so right now it's that photo I think the next one's gonna be the similar as well so let's just so you go edit and delete and then you select the photos you want to delete so I want to delete this one and delete confirm and it's done Otherwise, it's and then complete. And then in five minutes, this should change. All right, so that's that's very easy as well. So the next app that we're going to go dive into is called Photo Widget. Photo Widget, Photo Box Widget. This is Photo Box Widget. So, of course, this one is actually letting you customize it look by the looks of it because I haven't opened it, so I don't even know. So let's just go with a medium one. Uh, let's go large. And then to select image, so we're just going to go into here. Let's see if it allows us to touch these photos. Uh, oh, this lets you actually control it a little bit, so which is pretty cool. And then it says overlay message is optional. Uh, rule of life. Do you want what? Oh, motivation. So motivation just gave me a, a, a notification. Here it says overlay message. So we'll just write. Alrighty. So this is how it feels to travel and you can display it in the bottom corner, right corner, up in the middle or however, or you just let it randomly appear wherever it feels like. Okay. Next image. You press the next image and then the next image will show as well. Uh, we, uh, um, uh, okay. Large select photo. We'll pick this one and you can customize it a little bit. And, um, We'll just write, so we'll just leave it there and we'll just leave it, I'll uh, just press this one, however, whatever, however it feels like. That's how we go next image. Uh, we'll just got another larger one. So I'm just adding three so we can get a, an idea of how this works. So that just crashes when you go into there. I don't know why, but for, for some odd reason, that doesn't work. Um, okay, we'll just write a text. Looks like this widget doesn't offer much. It's just literally that and photos about photos and photos. So you go left all right and the photos actually appear so that's pretty cool that's yeah, not bad tap and hold let's add the last one photo box let's just add a big one i want to see what happens so obviously it tells you sunshine coast that's the name of the place so every 10 minutes with the photo boxes every 10 minutes it actually swaps with the widget smith it's actually every five minutes. In the end, in conclusion, to customize, to give you full flexibility and actually let you customize 
your widgets to max without paying a lot or nothing at all uh, so there there's this app actually really cool so my number one recommendations to get for widgets it's probably uh, if you want to have a lot of customization it's probably widget smith and then the numbers the second widget will probably be uh, color smith because uh, if you want colorful theme then you're more than welcome to go with it and then uh, of course hay weather is pretty cool as well like i think i like that on my home screen so hay weather is the third and the fourth uh photo box is there also okay as well and the fifth and final motivation widget so uh, because it actually rotates so if you want to get up and have a different quote that's pretty cool but other than that uh, this is the whole video and i really truly appreciate you guys watching and uh, don't forget to follow my instagram at zach shots on instagram if you are a travel photographer or you like traveling just at zach shots and uh, you can see all my photos there uh, or if you want to follow this channel's uh, Instagram is Tech4K Pro on Instagram as well. And this is my final result. And that's how I'm going to have my home screen set up from now. And if you guys made it till here to the end, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your time. Uh, please make sure you leave a comment below and let me know if there's new widgets that's out that you want me to do a video about. I'll gladly do it. So please leave a comment uh, about your favorite ones and anything in general. If you have any questions, suggestions or anything, please leave a comment down below and let me know. And don't forget to give this video a like. Uh, also subscribe and turn the notification bell on because i'll just make videos like this and uh, in the future hopefully you guys will like it as well so as you can see this photo just changed there's gilly t the name comes as well it's pretty cool and um, that's that for now thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video bye